everybody. Welcome to Career Corner. Career Corner. I like it. Today we're going to be talking about careers. And yes, this company is a bit unorthodox Very. in how we work. And it's a team of freelancers, it's a team of independent contractors, and people are a business of their own. Yeah. And it's different because most of us are used to being what is called traditionally a W-2, right? It's, a, it's, it's typically if you're a salary wage or you're a part-time or full-time worker or you work at retail, or most of these situations, you are a, on a W-2 tax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you are freelancing, you go on, I think, a 1099? Yeah, 1099. 1099, that's a different type of, type of form that you re return, but you are now looked upon as a business yeah, that is offering services. Yes. And this is a, almost a standard in entertainment or uh, uh, independent um, contracting. Uh, yes. uh, film crews or whatever. Or whatever, like hookers yeah. at 1099. Yeah, yeah. Hookers? <laughs> Service providers. As long as you don't. Only like fans, girls, or yeah. guys? Yes. Yeah. But also guys that are fitness coaches that come in and they rent gym space. And Bart can maybe give us some input on that. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. Oh. <laughs> but also guys that might come over and paint your house or they might build a fucking pool or whatever. So it is a wide range of professionals. <laughs> And uh, what? Steve just gave me a funny look. No, 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 because I, I think Bart did both of those things. Yeah, that's why I looked at him. And, I thought those three things in a row was interesting. Well, one of those things, yeah. yeah. Well, I think you paid for the other things with one thing, with the, with the fitness thing. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about. That's what I thought. Okay, my bad. But there is a huge movement now, I think, especially in our generation, of people moving toward more of this freelancing and side hustle world. Gig so, economy, yeah. as they say. Yeah. Gig economy, yeah. It's kind of cool. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it was, it, was kind of a, it was kind of a big shock to go from, like, my W-2 work to my contract work. Because it was, like, beforehand, like, you would just kind of, like, you'd interview for the job once, right? And then you'd get the job, and then you would just continue to do that job for X amount of time. I was working retail. And then now it's like I'm doing an interview like almost like every week or every month to like try and get another thing. It's kind of You're still weird. doing interviews? Interviews for what? No, it's like when, you, oh, when I'm trying to like get a job or something. Like trying to get a new client. Like, you know, like send me send me a reel with a resume and then like oh, we need to feel like your a new product. project. Yeah, if you're a good fit for, you know, this particular thing that I want to film or whatever, they're just like, but they have to feel it out. So it's kind of weird going back to that like interview phase again where you're just constantly like you know trying out essentially for a bunch of these like different people you know just kind of bizarre for me I was, it's it was a big jump from you know just going in and being you know guaranteed the same kind of like work every week do you like it do you like that new i like some of it i like the excitement of like being able to like try different things like every week and different get to talk to different people and meet different groups of people and interact with different crews and stuff but at the same time it's fucking scary yeah uh, the scariest part is the fact that it's so unstable like yeah one week you're working five days on a set, yeah. and then next week you're not working at all. Maybe two weeks you're not working at all, and you're always on the search for the next project to work on, um, which is scary because it's so unreliable. Yeah, or sometimes you just have to like drop everything to like go do yeah. a different project, and you're just sort of like, I, I don't know about you, but it always kind of keeps me on my toes about just yeah. like, I have a thing, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be a thing, and I might need to just drop everything and go do that thing because I really want to shoot this, but that's not a guarantee yet. But you yeah. work a lot. I see you working on all kinds of shit. I'm trying to now. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've, I've been blessed with this this company and the other company I work for, Evic, being like steady work yeah. and stuff. But I think to like kind of do more of this like camera work that I want to do, yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. require this big scary leap into mm -hmm. like freelancing, and that's something that um, I'm still getting used to that feeling of uncertainty. Do you want to shoot a movie yeah. this year? Fuck yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, you're hard. Yeah. Sick. Great. That was easy. That was, that was, that was, a, that was the easiest done. trial. Uh, he's literally hired, actually. Yeah, that literally, literally just happened. You guys have no idea how yeah. literally true that is. <laughs> you have an entire crew ready to go. Yeah, I do. Just saying, I have. You want, you want to shoot a movie? I have 30 pages of a script, so I, nice. I need about 88. But yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> you seem to take on uh, freelancing really. Like you were the newest member. You yeah. came in four years ago. Uh, three. Three, year, three years three. ago, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, um, I I seen you take it pretty good. Because man, like at your age, I wasn't making as much as you did. How old are you? Twenty-three. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, you, you, know, you, know you know, you know, you know how much he makes. Can I tell the world? Yeah, yeah I guess. Right. He makes oh. about like six grand a month. Oh, oh shit! That's like normal though. It's not the same conversation that we had. Hell no! Oh my god! For twenty-three? Yeah. Sure, I wasn't making six. For twenty-three? I'm, I'm still not making six grand a month. What? For twenty-three? There's not people that are fifty years old that wish they made six grand. A month. Hey Pat, you just lost a lot of fans. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lost your relatability. A lot of Pat fans. Six grand a month is a lot of fucking money. That's insane. I want more. Pat, you, know you want more of that, and then that's why. Dude, he's grinding so hard, Dude, and there's nothing why, wrong with that too. Yeah. What just happened to Pat is what happened to Dave Chappelle when they announced he's getting forty million dollars. 
Pat's about to get hit up by his yeah. friends, his family. Yeah. They're gonna be like six grand a month. Holy yeah. shit, Pat! You put me on easy. Sleep it out. <laughs> no, but in reality, hey, Pat, come help a brother out, Pat. <laughs> what makes you think that's normal? Because it's in reality, normal. it's not what's, normal for a 23-year-old um, to make that much. Hell no. Because five times 12 is what 60k, right? So then six times 12 what's that 72? Yeah. 72 Quick grand. Then, um, that's not tax yet, so. Well, see, taxes. yeah, because you're your own business, so that's yeah. the difference, right? But seventy-two grand to put it into uh, perspective Please. is like uh, someone with a nursing degree, or or like a high profession, mm -hmm. you know, or like a um, engineer maybe, or something, engineer or something like that, and that's a starting, I guess, rate. But it is a starting rate. But then for me, I feel like I kind of capped. I'm capping at seventy-two right or seventy k a year. But you didn't right? make, but how do I make more. What twenty-one or twenty-two? Just last year. Hey Pat, oh, I'm be grateful what you got, you little piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stop looking to get force in the mouth, you son of a bitch. Hey man, I gotta... Alright, put it into perspective. <laughs> Me and Bart, probably until we were 26 or 27, made about $1,000 a month. Yeah. With our expenses, yeah. oh. it was like it was like negative six hundred every month. Yeah. Oh, same. Oh, man. I mean, even my first two years on YouTube, I was making about a grand a month. Yeah. Yeah. But it's different because we're not freelancers; we're business owners. So the freelancer can become a business owner once they make that pivot of being the only person providing the service. So here's the theory, right? Is like you you provide the service as a as a camera guy, director guy, editor guy. You do all the you you do do all the roles, right? And then you get all the clients, you get all the people that are like, Pat's the man, Pat's cool, right? And then you go, hey, I have six grand a month, why don't I get someone who assists me for a grand a month and I'll, oh, yeah, and then they can help me that's out. That's the plan now. Right. right, and then you build a team, you build a business, and then now, instead of just being a freelancer, now it's Pat's film company. And that's the kind of, I think, steps you want to take but some people they stay a freelancer and then they just go up in value so you don't build a team you instead of making this your rate like let's say your rate is a thousand dollars a day right but people love your skills so much that you're like nope now it's five thousand dollars a day oh yeah right it's a great concept okay but here's my here's my issue what's up how much money are you making on the back of my good man pat here you piece of fucking <laughs> shit <laughs> Me? What brick <laughs> fuck? How yeah, much money are you making on this man's this man. back? On the Mac of this man <laughs> who's working his ass off, how much are you making off of him? To be completely honest, he takes all the money that I make I on my not. channel. <laughs> I do not. Well, pretty much. Well, okay then, all right. Well, <laughs> I don't make a profit from him. Well, okay, so uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a give and take. I'm investing in him because my AdSense does not pay me nothing. But you're getting hella brand deals right now. Hella, hella yeah. brand. That's, what, that's, where, that's where it is subsidized. I was like, don't you but, sneak out of this one. But it's a give and take, right? Because if I don't get brand deals for several months or whatever, then pretty much I'm losing money. So it's a it's a balancing act. And that's the risk that the business owner takes, is you have to invest in a pat, so you pay them yeah. first, and then you in hopes that Pat's efforts will then free up your time so I don't have to film and edit. Yeah. And then we team up here, he gets paid first, and then I could break the deals or someone else could break the deals to bring in the more money. And then eventually you can just do cash for gold ads <laughs> as much as you can. <laughs> I can see Joe making his own cash I for gold I would love ads. it. I would love <laughs> it. Like can we just make one? I would love it. Love it. <laughs> and Joe and Chico is crazy gold blowout. <laughs> Buy now. You have gold. You can get cash for that gold. Did you know that? You didn't know that. Now you know that. <laughs> Those places make a fuck ton of money. Is this like a 1-800 infomercial you're talking yeah. about? They always are. Cash for gold, anything is. And he like needs one of those like dollar business suits. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dollar print suits. Yes. Yeah. You know there's a documentary on that guy? The question mark? I saw that guy at the airport. You did? Wearing, wearing it in the airport. It? Yeah. You're talking about Lasco. What's his is name? It, is it fucking Larry? something Lasco? Yeah, yeah, he Lasko. used to be at like the Central Park and like the doing- The government wants to give you free money? Yeah, that guy, the tax guy. Yeah, yeah. You know him and his wife bang every fucking night and they're madly in love. They bang every night? They What's fuck that? every night. Like every they're night? like old ass fuck. What if she's sick like we came back from Orlando last night and she feels sick and we couldn't fuck that I night. love their documentary though because he is legit a happy motherfucker. Like he just goes out in his question mark suit and he's just selling taxes and he goes back home and then they, he's like the key to a happy marriage is fucking every night and like having a blast so that's why he wears a question mark too because his wife wants to fuck him in it I that's guess the only thing that makes sense I guess so Bart how much are you paying Nadine 
so that you can get rich off of his fucking back <laughs> and off of his hard work. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm getting rich off his hard work. <laughs> getting fucking fat cat ass rich. Off of well, Nadim lives in an apartment. Thank yeah. you. Two apartments. <laughs> yeah, two well, apartments Nadeem, well, where he spends like three grand a month oh, on just wait, rent. Oh, does he have two apartments? No, he moved out of one recently. He just moved out. You're driving an Audi. Want to I don't even have an Audi. He's driving a Ford F450. Suffering. <laughs> Suffering in his Ford F450. <laughs> with his fucking quad cab. You oh, piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> no, not anymore. Not anymore. Oh my yeah. god, dude. Yeah, it's so yeah. fucking yeah. funny. <laughs> It's a lot. Yeah, why does it happen like that when they think um, the guys that are running and owning the business is like the they oppressor? They don't see the risk that you're taking, like what you said. So, cause it's what, I, I feel like it's fair. Like I take the risk with the money and my time and everything and I might not get the reward, right? I might lose the money. But then the people that, the, that I employ or the people that I team up with, and higher, they get paid no matter what. You could not get a brand deal next month. Yeah, and I'll, I'll still have to forfeit it. Right. But then they still believe that it should, It. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, right. where's the fairness? Or even with like the JK News channel where we got hit with the apocalypse and the algorithm fucked us, so the amount that each video makes decreased by like two thirds, but we didn't ever change the rates on the editing rates. They still got paid. They still get paid the right. same. And then that's, I think the responsibility of a business owner is to protect the team and their livelihoods yeah. first yeah, yeah, yeah. before they get paid. Yeah. But I don't know if they're referring to normal businesses or they're referring to like these weird businesses. I think uh -oh. it's just projection of insecurity, I feel like. They just see things and then they just assume and they just, they just say Well, maybe not always. Sometimes I think, you know, there's some foundation there. Like some people are genuinely getting fucked out there. But, but, All right. but you know, not, not always. That's the problem is that some people go, well, you're getting paid more than these people and therefore that's fucked up. Sometimes. Yeah. That's business. Because I do know, like, you know, there's car companies that um, would move their whole facility to dodge taxes, and it's just all a bottom line game. They'll go out of country to dodge yeah. taxes. Yeah, and then the employees would go with them thinking that they have a secure job, and they would lay them all out. And it's like, dude, they moved to a different fucking state, and then they did them dirty. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, that happens in business. Uh, I guess, do we all get grouped up because of the shitty things that other companies do? Mm -hmm. That's you're, fucked up. You call yourself a company, so therefore you're in the, the group with the corporations yeah. and all that. So the there's a stigma the behind the word corporation yes. or like uh, franchise or like business owner or like whatever because they just see it as this whole but like when, cabal of so bad guys. People drive around and go out to dinner, they don't think like some corporation owns this business that I'm at. You know, like literally they don't think that. They, they don't know that what goes into that. They're like some person owns that business and they're, they have to make that business work and pay all the people that are there and shit. Do they think that humans didn't create these buildings and shit and it was just like there when they were born? I honestly think some do. <laughs> wow, like it's a treat. It'll always be there. Wow. <laughs> like a treat. The giving tree. Some do. A lot of a lot of people don't, but some do. And I'm mostly making fun of them. <laughs>